luxury, lifestyle, fashion, home decor, and organizational tips. So if you are interested in any of those things, you are in the right place, baby. Today, we're going to be doing a review on Kurt Geiger's XXL Kensington bag. So let's get into it. All right, guys, for my birthday, I gave myself this beautiful charcoal gray uh, extra extra large Kensington bag by Kurt Geiger so I'm going to take you through the bag give you all the details and a wonderful review so let's go Can I tell y'all how much I love this bag? It is not the Chanel 19 that I wanted. It is not the uh, Sac de Jour that I wanted by Saint Laurent. It is not even the Chloe uh, mini C bag that I bought for my birthday. It's none of those things. It is its own entity and I love her. So let me get into how I packed this bag. What I did find is that I don't really carry a whole lot of things in my purse. My, most of my things are in pouches or small wallets or something like that. So I don't have a lot of stuff to even fill up a purse this big. So the first thing I want to do is to make it look full. So how do you make a purse this big look full when you only have a couple items? This was my trick. My trick was an organizer. So I have, let me see if I can pull it out. An organizer. This is the organizer that fits into a Louis Vuitton Never Fool. And you can see exactly what happens to the bag when I take it out. When I take out the organizer, let me take out the other few items as well. But when I take that organizer out, the bag becomes extremely squishy. And you see that? You see how it starts to slope a little bit? Because with nothing in it, it is very, very slouchy, very, very squishy. So I like the structure of the bag, but I still wanted it to be, you know, not so squishy. And a bag organizer does that. You can get them from Amazon. I picked them up from Etsy, places like that. But once I put the pop the organizer back in, and to put it back in, all I have to do is squeeze in the side, squeeze in the bottom, hold it flat like this slide it down 
into the bag and it's an easy slide because the bag is so big it takes up a lot of space in the bag which it doesn't add weight to the bag which is good so i can still add my items to it without making the bag heavy but it does give it back that structure and that bottom that i love so much in this bag so let's go over what i have in my bag okay what i'm carrying in this bag is my Ophidia Gucci cosmetic case and inside of her I have a Blotteroxy and then my little mini container that I have a lot of mini things in and I have this lipstick. This is an old lipstick but it's an oldie but goodie. This is the Mahogany 232 by Marc Jacobs. Baby, get into it. I love this lipstick and I have another pouch in my bag. This is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the customized monogram print and inside of it i have a lip gloss that i always have this is the burberry uh, sugar pink number 45 i have a small lotion i don't carry lotion because i don't want it to spill all out but i carry these little mini nivias that i have a hand sanitizer pills my cosmetic eyeglass cleaner a mini fan what i have discovered is going to church during COVID. um yeah i use my fan when people are singing and stuff and when i'm hot to cool myself off i got these from amazon i have my brick so i could charge up my phone or anything and then i have an extra car charger when you get in people's cars you just don't know if they'll have one for you so i just have this extra one in here and then I have two wallets, a mini card holder, and I have a card case. So this is the Chanel card holder. And in it, I have my everyday cards, the stuff that I have to grab really easily, quickly. I need to pay for stuff. And then in this one, this is the Chanel card case. I have in here coupons, receipts, extra cards, stuff like that goes, and gift cards goes in this one. So I'm going to load everything back up in the bag and then we'll talk about how I love to store the things in there. Okay, so in this back space, I take my Ophidia cosmetic case and I lay it down straight like that. And then in this larger section right here, I have my wallets stacked like that and I lay them down on their side there. And then I just stick in the mini pochette right beside them and that's how everything looks the bag is not heavy i can easily assess everything and it still is comfortable to carry as a shoulder bag what i love about this bag is the leather i'm not sure what leather this is it's not lambskin it's not togo it's not um Safiano. I'm not sure what it is, but I love how soft and squishy it is. To protect these corners, which I think is going to wear very, very rough, I have these little feet that I purchased and I put them on all my bags because it helps with the wear and tear of those corners. If you want to keep your bags looking new and they do not come with feet, purchase you some feet. Just go ahead and purchase those. And they're a sticker. You can peel them off. It doesn't damage the bag. I have them on all my bags. I sell my bags all the time to Fashion File. I sell them Tradesy. Never had any damage to any bag using those little feet stickers. I love that it can be a shoulder bag and how it sits up on the shoulder. And then I do this little trick that I love. This is my trick. Um, and then if you, it depends on how you like to carry your bag. I do like a shoulder bag sometimes, but then I like a bag that could give me a moment. And the way I get that moment is I pull the chain down like this and then I knot it so that it makes, you could do it like this too, just pull them out. So that when you go to carry the bag, it gives it only enough give to give you a handle. And I love carrying the bag like that as well. You could just tie this chain or sometimes I'll use um, 
plastic ties to tie. You can use a hair tie, anything, just to keep them together inside the bag so that when you carry it, you can only carry it as a top handle. So this bag doesn't give me crossbody. I'm a plus size girl. I've seen it crossbody on other girls, but it won't crossbody on me, but it will do a top handle and it does do a double strap or a single strap. So I got enough carrying options to feel like I got my money's worth out of this bag. Now, any cons that I will have for this bag is that it is huge. And if you are not a big girl, um, a big bag girl, I'm saying this is not the one for you. The XXL is big. It is bigger than a Chanel Jumbo, which I own, but it is smaller than the Chanel Maxi. So if you, well, the Chanel Jumbo Maxi. Then Chanel has a Maxi Maxi, like their extra large bag. It's much smaller than that bag. And I don't like that bag. It doesn't keep the shape. It is extremely heavy once it's packed full. So that bag I didn't like at all, but this one is that middle in between size and I love her. So again, this is the Kurt Geiger Kensington XXL in the gray, looking right and tight. And she's ready to be taken out and used all the time. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to get out of here. I've been in the house doing stuff and working and I am about to get out because I am single and ready to mingle. Don't tell Bay because he'll get me. But I am so ready to get out of the house and enjoy the sunshine. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. If you have any advice on any of the Kensington bags and how to care for them, pop those down in the comments. Let's get it popping. Thanks so much for watching again. Bye.